Hi, my name is Faris Mojinovic. I'm a professor and specialist in obstetrics and gynecology. In previous video, I explained why Rotom Diagnostic Test is so useful in clinical obstetrical practice. And if you'd like to watch this video, you can click the tab above. In this video, I will explain what Rotom Diagnostic Test actually is and the way it works. The word Rotom is basically an abbreviation consisting of two words, rotational thromboelastometry. These two words describe four different concepts, rotation, clot, firmness or elasticity, and measurement. In other words, the name of the test itself explains what and how it obtains its results. By rotational blood sample, it measures the firmness and hardness of the clot. For better understanding, we can use the analogy of cooking, or specifically the preparation of sweet creams. If you add a powdered cream to the milk, turn on the mixer, and the beater starts to spin, at first nothing will happen, and the milk will continue to remain liquid. But slowly, from second to second, the milk does become thicker, harder and harder, transforming from liquid form into such a hard structure that it stops the mixer because the beater can no longer rotate. If we continue to add milk to this resulting solid mass, it becomes again more elastic and watery, and the beater starts spinning again. However, where too much milk is added, the mass is more fluid again, and in extreme cases, it can return to a completely liquid state. The Rotom Diagnostic Test is conducted in a similar way. The mixture of milk and powder can be understood as a blood sample taken from the mother, and the thick cream represents a clot forming the blood in the rotation device. If you imagine a mixture in the form of a rod or a stick that has sensors that register the movement of the rod, then the movement of the rod in the blood can be easily graphically recorded. The harder the mixture, the further it pulls the rod when mixing, which is registered on the paper as a larger deviation from zero position when the stick is at rest. With this approach, Rotom Diagnostic Test directly assesses the compliance and joint action of all elements in the blood, and not only those in plasma, in the process of formation of clot, that is basic condition for a bleed stopping. These elements therefore include platelets, erythrocyte, intrinsic and extrinsic coagulation pathways, fibrinogen, and all other elements responsible for clot formation. We can say that the Rotom Diagnostic Test evaluates three important components. The process of clot formation, its hardness or firmness, and finally the clot destruction, fibrinolysis. The prothrombin time and activated partial thromboplastin time from coagulogram, on the other hand, assess the intrinsic and extrinsic coagulation pathways while ignoring the other important elements that are crucial in clot formation. Now that we know the principles on which the Rotom Diagnostic Test is based, we can look at the ways the Rotom Diagnostic Test represents its results in a graphical form. We can see that in the next video.